morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And once there's always going to be a catch up of the demolition site and other random pizzazz that goes on. Then someone's walking up King Street, which has got a lot of the um, full on buildings all over it, as you can see beyond me and over yonder and a little bit behind me as well. There is uh, a lot of desolation in the way of buildings which have been uh, left in place to rot and also quite a few other places are either being rebranded or uh, like being vacated or refilled but it's kind of a bit weird and yeah I know some of you are probably expecting the start of this to have been a bit more rainbow flavoured but uh, unfortunately I didn't go to Pride weather wasn't going to be yeah, playing ball for me plus I had a lot of other stuff going on like you know shopping and other things in reality uh, but you know yes I did get last year's and that was uh, covered partially on my other channel but um, yeah besides the point but um, you know as some of you who have probably been to Pride or were disrupted by Pride would have known it is a bit of a choke point up there having everything on up there so it's not like that the greatest of places to have it all done but that's just part of it and um, anyway I will just put you on a quick pause until we get to the demolition sites and then we can uh, carry on from there so pause so as you can see this lot is uh, progressing on and uh, that's still Kind of wide open. Well, you can see a little bit of dust rising in the background over there. More stuff over there. And there's a little bit more uh, like scaff ends and stuff going on over there. Just showing where they're marking out areas for the safeties or whatever. They could be cutting a lift shaft or something. I'm not quite sure because it's more like they're going quite well on where the uh, staircasing area goes and everything. And the uh, long reach over there is a the good old monk. Got other munch, got other munch. It's got a magic, mate. It's got a magic. Yeah, looking good so far. It's gonna be amazing once all this is done. Quite to work out where all the levels are and if it is moved up to five at best, it up to other. Who knows? But uh, yeah, um, as a Wigan fan, this bit is gonna pain me. But um, congratulations to Lee winning the Challenge Cup. All banter aside, brilliant. But um, putting in the banter it's gonna be another 50 years but yeah all pants aside well done you've actually done it you've actually got some uh, silverware and it didn't go over to the other side it didn't go to wool so um yeah all fair dues but <laughs> still as a Wigan fan that pains but go a long way to catch us up but hey it's all fun and banter all fun and banter anyway let's uh hope with some of the other stuff which is I'm going to cover later some of the uh, ups and downs a little bit later things might progress a little bit differently for those but you never know um anyway as i can see more of the dust appearing let's flip you all around give you all a zoom in of where the uh, long reach is uh, having a munch it's got to have a munch on it and it but it's definitely uh, not so far from having everything standing out all on its own over there because that is definitely one big challenge but that long reach is going to make short work of all of this I'm telling you now Just use the pinch on that. I know it's slightly obscured by the other one but zoom you out while I just give you a pan round so you can see where all this looks gone cleaning it up quite a lot as well as it's going on with uh, that long reach taking some uh, good munchy chunks out of it over there so I'll give you a quick pause and see if I can get a better look when we're closer over pause so there's found a little spot where I can actually get you zoomed in a little bit so 
Having a good old munch on that, I'm telling you now. Got a munch it, got a munch it, got a munch it. Have a munch. Have a munch, my friend. Have a munch. Yep. More people that I've bumped into and more people that have uh, seen these and have messaged me in different areas been saying that this is quite sad that this is coming down. You know, didn't really need to be taken down this way and a lot of other stuff, but hey. Looks like Longreach is having a bit of a rest at the moment. Yeah. It's uh, amazing how quickly this is coming down sometimes as well. Even though you can tell this has been built quite solidly, it's coming down pretty quick. Oop, 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 we have a little bit more action. A little bit closer around there. Get a bit of nom nom. That's pulling down quite a lot of stuff, isn't it? have a new marvellous mound of muck which is over this side not the other side but we'll have a look at the other marvellous mound of muck in a bit but the perils of being a short stack you can't see shite but see some gauging in there This lot eventually is just going to be freestanding and then they're going to take a big munch at that. That's going to be uh, one big box to play with. But it is interesting how it's coming down and I just use the gaps to my advantage. What have you over here? Missed a nice big chunk coming down from over here oh, as I'm fighting the rain. Hopefully, it don't start raining. The beast is making a lot of noise, it's having fun. We're having fun with it, I'll say that. Anyway. Have a look at what's going on over the other area. Pause. Just give you a view of it from over here. As you can see, the cloud of dust rising in the background and all of that lot. Like that is coming down quite quickly. Won't be long until all this lot's coming away and the demolition starts coming down this way. Which, just to say it, don't forget there is still stores that are open up here. Might not seem like it, but there is still places open down here. And eventually, one of the buildings on the college site will also be coming down as well. So, nothing ever changes, nothing ever stops. More stuff's going to be moving, apparently. So, uh, you never know. Anyway, between some of the other areas. Uh, yeah, that, um, the Debenhams area, that will be opening on Thursday. So it's that uh, charity store that doesn't, that is all new stock, all new stock. I mean new, new, as in actual new, not worn, anything like that. They've got that. So that, as uh, Elder Gamer, or Tony, has also said, there is going to be, uh, there is the, um, you know, pick up and go thing for the uh, coffee up there, the little kitchen. So there's a lot of areas going on in there as well. and. Um, I'll cover something else to do with Wilco's when we get near it. But apparently any bidders have until tomorrow to hopefully bid for the company and uh, hopefully save all of the stuff. But uh, yeah, that isn't looking very promising, but let's just hope that goes on and uh, a lot of other stuff. And as I came around, as you can see, I'm still going to say it's a shame that the market is going, but it's still definitely open. 
they do need your help and everything else but I'm going to keep saying it like I've always said it the floor space in there is big enough for an indoor arena so uh, forget the uh, apartments in the hotel why don't you move the market up into its new position level down the inside area inside there and turn it into a nice big indoor arena and then we can actually have a decent exhibition space then we could have a little bit of uh, you know basketball ice hockey you know some areas and other stuff but yeah as we can see there's uh, more work going on over here so i think these guys are digging up some trenches and stuff getting the uh, services and everything opened up so they can uh, get it all ready for whenever they need to move it everything else and as for apartments i'm sure there is plenty of units in some of these buildings over here that could be turned into rooftop sort of areas for apartments and other stuff because you don't always need to build brand new apartments you could use all any of the stuff that's around here and any of the stuff that could be kind of like you know over there somewhere because there is other areas to use other than new builds that is just my opinion and probably the opinion of quite a few other people but that's just how it goes look we've got stores to let store to let store to let another one plenty of space above it you know okay yeah they might need stock rooms so some of them might have you know the upper floor for the stock room but you've still got another floor above that's perfect to have a flat up there but now and we promised car park for the people of market still hasn't happened it's still stuck behind all of these boards and everything uh, but as you can see this is uh, opening up so I think I've ranted at you for long enough so I'm just going to give you a quick pause well looks like even another one round here so the same thing applies over here got where the manch got where the manch got where the manch manch it but yep it's having a play and this thing is helping its own dust busting by having a big sprayer on its line which is uh, actually quite fun because uh, you get to see it quite well but yeah it's having a good old munch is that one so let's get you a better view yep this one's having a good old munch which uh, some of the spray from that is coming back towards me see over there as you know a bit has been covered what was the giant marvellous mound of muck is now becoming a smaller mound of muck it won't be long until all this one over here is coming down that's going to be uh, even more fun but as you can see they're almost all the way through over there and you can see pretty much all the way through over there Which, again it's uh, going to be uh, a lot of fun that four o'clock bless it it's trying to keep the time it's about an hour and a half out <laughs> but yeah the clock is uh, managing to sort of keep some form of time but it's uh, a little bit out anyway let's see if I can give you a look what's going on a little bit yonder problems with being a short stack is you can't see for sharks but whoa that's uh, pretty much gone that is amazing okay, yeah. and as stated at the back of B&M's these doors are no longer in use so the doors at the back of B&M's are no longer in use but progress has been made down here and uh, judging from what I can see with my eye and probably what some of you might be able to make out a little bit uh, more observant than I am a lot of that has disappeared so they are probably going to be pretty much street side on that 
which will be uh, quite entertaining. Anyway, give you all a short pause and then we will uh, go up the front and uh, do our wrap ups. So as I mentioned, hopefully one of the prospective bidders, which apparently there's one or two bidders for Wilco's as a corporate or as a company or as a shell, will uh, bid to save it, but it's not exactly looking good because some of the companies probably are waiting for it to fully go under so they can pick up the scraps. Basically they can buy whatever's left of their stock and whatever and they can uh, sell them off somewhere else. But I mean, if it goes, it's going to be another very uh, big building. Rather desolate and empty soon. So hopefully it doesn't go under fully. Hopefully the people can keep their jobs and hopefully someone will save it. It is in administration, but hopefully one day or something soon, it will be saved. And as for this lot, all of the facades on this lot isn't a fault long for the world. It is going to be uh, coming down pretty soon, the way that it looks like they're going, because uh, it doesn't look like it's far from being right at the uh, back of that. Because a lot of it is pretty now close to being finished. So soon you won't even be able to see the peaks of that. This still needs a tenant and I'm going to keep filming it constantly. M&S building still needs someone to take over it and I'm still going to stick by my guns, turn it into a Wigan version of Athlete Palace. So at least then don't have to go to Manchester all the time to get some of our gear. It'd be nice. CEX obviously. Yes. But, I mean, seeing that is uh, a bit weird. You know, one building there, you know, that still doesn't have a full tenant yet either. It's just being used at the moment as a showcase for everything else. Because, you know, you've got Pep and Co and Lady Labels and some of the other stuff in there and the pop and Pops and the Holland and Barrett signs and everything else. So it's kind of giving you a gist of what's inside the mall but it doesn't really help much because it's just a showcase we need people in there but hey that's my view and i'm just going to say as someone who has been in pride last year and a couple of other years i know how much of a choke point this is and i know how much some of the uh stores around here get suffered because of what's going on so it might be been easier having pride somewhere else yeah, having some of the stuff like, you know, further up there, up there and everything and other stuff further down was quite useful, but doesn't always help, does it? Especially when people need to go in there and also when you've got football on, it's not very helpful. Anyway, I will wrap this up here because I need the toilet and other stuff because I need to stuff my face because I'm getting hungry. But I will see you again, so I will sign out. Peace, see you in the stars, see you star side. Don't stress about anything, life is only what you put into it. So, goodbye.